Hello everyone. So here is a very special problem on uh, hexagon. It is a special problem because there is not even a single inclination given in this problem. So based on the given criteria we have to solve it. So let me read the problem first. A regular hexagonal lamina of sides 30 mm is lying in such a way that one of its sides touches both the reference planes that means touches both HP as well VP okay if the side opposite to the side on which it rests is 45 mm above HP so this is one of the conditions given so based on this we have to get the inclination instead of giving inclination he has given this condition so that I'll explain while solving the problem here draw the projections of the lamina so first a regular hexagonal lamina of sides 30 mm is lying in such a way that one of its sides touches both the reference planes so, so that means towards our left we should get a side and the same side should touch xy line in the last but one position so that condition will be satisfied right same uh, like uh, we solved one problem on pentagon of this kind okay so now first uh, let us construct the hexagon so it's a side resting and 30 mm so let me draw this side first exactly three boxes in our grid book 30 mm right next we have to measure the angle what is the angle 60 degree so 60 this side Sixty this side. So draw thin infinite line both the ways. Thin infinite lines. Very thin. Very thin. So next, what is the dimension? Thirty, no? So take the compass and measure for thirty. Measure it for thirty. Okay. So now from here cut an arc and keeping it here cut one more arc so we again have to measure the angle from any one of the corners so let me keep the protractor here and then let me measure the angle 60 so 60 will come here so now take the scale draw thin infinite line here take the compass and cut it for Right, 30 so from here you can cut one more 30 and from here you can cut one more 30 so now we can join the portions so increase the thickness here from here to here we get a straight line and here we have to join right so this is how we can get a hexagon make sure that all the sides of the hexagon are thick and the projection lines are thin so let me name it now so how can I name it yeah so A B C D E and F right so this is how we, we can name the hexagon so now we have to get it front view what can we do for that just project it upwards this C and F will come in the same line and this D and E also so now you can increase the thickness of this section since it's a front view okay so now we have to name it so here we can see B dash we cannot see A dash because A dash will be hidden here because of B here also we can see C but not F because F will be hidden because of C even here we can see D but not E because E will be hidden because of D right. so it is B dash within the bracket A dash C dash within the bracket F dash here it is D dash within the bracket E dash right so the first two positions are done right so next next is telling <coughs> side opposite to the side on which it rests is 45 mm above HP. So 
so what is the side opposite to the side on which it is resting it is resting on the side ab correct so the side opposite to the side on which it is resting is ed this is the opposite side no so this ed should be 45 mm above hp so above hp means we'll get it we'll always get it on xy line so now see here ed the same ed is here no d dash e dash so this should be 45 mm above the xy line or above hp so now what i can do is exactly from 4.5 box i have to draw on thin line i have to draw on thin line 45 mm this is 45 mm right so now take the compass measure this measure this and keeping it anywhere on this line cut the cut an arc on this line and you have to be careful about this point also okay now we, we have to join this we have to join this so this is where the condition is satisfied 45 mm above hp the condition is satisfied so now b dash a dash to c dash f dash we measure it separately and cut it again so now you can name it it is b dash a dash and this is c dash f dash and it is d dash e dash correct right so now how can we get the top view out of this simple we can project it downwards so project everything downwards downwards and downwards and here project everything forward this a and d you will get it in the same line this b and d you will get it in the same line and c make sure that all the projection lines are thin so now search for the common points so we'll start with a a and a are meeting here so this will be my a b and b are meeting here this will be my b c and c are meeting here this will be my c d and d are meeting here it will be my d e and e are meeting here so it will be my e f and f at last here so this will be my f so now join all the points a to b using thick lines okay b to c c to d d to e and e to f at last f to a so this is how we can get the fourth view now the next condition is is laying in such a way that one of its sides touches both the reference planes so that side is ab it is already touching hp so now the same side should touch vp but not from this diagram we have to take this so this ab should touch this xy line so that the given condition will be satisfied so now i'll take this as b okay now i'll measure a to b so b to a i will cut right so however you can take like a you can take this side b this side or b a anything is fine everything is correct okay the condition is we should touch this side a b to this x y line okay so the given condition is satisfied so now once we got b a keeping these two points as reference we have to cut all other points so now let me cut b to c first b to c b to c and a to a to f are same no so b to c and a to f since both are same in dimension i can cut it in a single shot right so now let me take a to c a to c and b to f are same again so a to c and b to f so here this will be my c and this will be my f correct so now uh, c to d f to e i can get right c to d and f to e both are again same c to d 
f to e and vice versa i can take now f to d f to d f to d is equivalent to c to e right so f to d now f to d c to e okay so let me take this again it is not intersecting no let me take this again so intersect it so that yeah now we got all the points this will be my e and this will be my d correct so now join all the points so a to b b to c c to d d to e e to f and at last f to a so now we got the last but one view so now it is easy project all the lines upward project so this d and b will get it in the same line e and a you will get it in the same line f will get it here and you just project it forward project it forward yeah so now search for the common points a and a are meeting here so this itself is a dash b and b dash so this itself is b dash so now c and c so this is my c dash d and d this will be my d dash e e this will be my e dash f and f so this will be my f dash so now join all the points a dash to b dash b dash to c dash c dash to d dash d dash to e dash and at last e dash to f dash and f dash to a dash so this is where the problem completes so it's a special problem because there is not even a single inclination given see what is this dimension this will be 45 and so I think uh, I have forgotten to mention the dimensions please dimension everything so if this is 30 right this is 30 so be careful about the dimensions you have to give notations and you have to dimension everything fine hope you understood so this is the problem without any inclinations but by the given conditions we can get this solution Thank you.